Well, hi, this is Custom Works, and I'm Clint Allen. Today is Tech Talk. I received a uh, interesting comment, and I thought I would go through it. The uh, individual had said, "Well, hey, I uh, every time I turn on during the cold weather my heater in the truck, uh, I have the smell of diesel." Now, not quite sure if. It was meant that I have the smell of diesel, meaning diesel fuel, or the exhaust diesel smell. Not quite sure, but either which way, right here is in this area is where that problem is going to be. So let's not forget that if you're smelling diesel fuel really strongly, there could be a high possibility that if you don't notice any leaks up by the fuel bowl area or by the connections up here, don't forget that you've got a connection way down here on the back of the block that supplies fuel to the fuel rail. So if you have the diesel smell of the actual liquid diesel, the actual fuel itself, be looking right here. Uh, there's a black expandable and cushionable o-rings basically that makes this connection and keeps it from leaking. Uh, if you're getting the diesel smell, more than likely it, it, it could be the exhaust came loose on the turbo. Yeah, rare, but more than likely it's because of the up pipes. Uh, could be the connection here could be the connection here, or if you still have the original up pipes on the truck, it's definitely probably coming from here or down here. But one of these areas here then is leaking uh, exhaust fumes, and that's where you're picking up that smell from. And right up here is right where the exhaust smell or the diesel fuel smell heads up right into your heating system and we'll take a look at that. So once again, a lot of you that follow are very experienced, but once again, there's a few that uh, this would be their first time seeing the video, so be patient. Um, in case you're not aware, this is where the air is drawn in to your HVAC system heating and air conditioning system. The air travels then through here and there's a hole underneath here and I'll show you that. But basically this right here is part of that heating and air conditioning. Of course right here is your AC and your fan goes here. This is where the air gets drawn into. And that's what this side looks like right here. Then on the opposite side, inside the cab, This right here in your uh, 99 and a half on up to 2003 approximately. OBS is slightly different, but you get the gist of it. Anyways, this is inside the cab underneath the dash. Right here is the farthest passenger side, passenger side door over here. Of course, you know, you get your plunger system and everything that operates the flaps. This right here is a connector that uh, feeds through the dash itself to the ducts that are in the dash. But that's how that looks like. So if you ever have to uh, get underneath here and change out anything, uh, you have an idea of what it looks like. And that's the back side of it. 
right here. That is the part that is on the firewall. So we'll set that down and we'll bring you in for a ride. So if you're motion sick of this, suck it up buttercup. So right here, driver's side, and we go down, and inside is where that air goes. And right here you can see, that's where the air enters, and of course the two holes right here, that's where it goes inside the cab. So what to do if you have diesel fuel smell that got into your air ducts, or if you got uh, air conditioner that smells moldy, uh, let me show you how to handle that. And before I forget, if you're new to the community here, welcome. Down in the description below is a complete playlist of our almost finished sensor videos. All the sensors that are on 7.3, our complete list of tech talk videos, our complete list of other videos and our most popular videos and our debunking videos. So if you're new here after this, go down below. Can guarantee you that you've never seen videos like this before on YouTube. We're not in our driveway making videos with our cell phone here. But moving back to if you have diesel smell, diesel fuel smell that got into the ducts. All right, number one, this isn't a one treatment kind of deal. Getting diesel fuel smell out of anything is a real bear. Don't need any special products though. Just go and get yourself some Lysol. Uh, don't get the generic brands, pay the extra, you know, buck and get the actual Lysol itself. Go and cover this up right here with a piece of plastic and some easy pullable tape so you don't leave any type of tape marks. If you don't care, use duct tape. But either which way, take a piece of plastic and cover most of this up right here so air can't get in anywhere here. Leave a little space open. And for the heating system, then go inside. The, you don't have to have the engine running, just turn it on. Turn the blower on number three, turn the heat on max and then start spraying right here, Lysol. Uh, once it starts getting a little bit wet here, give it a break. Use about, uh, about a quarter of the can, all right? Um, a lot of times a light diesel smell will dissipate with about a quarter of a can spraying right here, heater on max, meaning all the way up the temperature, all the way maxed out and on fan speed number three. You might have to come back if it's been really festering, maybe twice, maybe three times, but the Lysol will kill off that diesel smell. And yes, it will take a little bit of time. On the air conditioning end of it, if uh, during the summertime, you know, you did this during the wintertime, during the summertime, you still get that whew, boy, that diesel fuel smell came back again, then what has happened is it managed to get into this part of the air conditioning system and you just do the same thing again and the smell will go away and dissipate and you'll be done. Now, if you have a situation during the summertime that you have the smell of mold there is a product and it'll be down in the description. Basically what you do is you drill a hole right here and this, this isn't the product. We're just, you know, doing a how to do it. But you would take that product and you put the straw in all the way and you start spraying and you move it out and you move it in. You move it out and you move it in. You know what I'm getting at move it out and move it in and it'll basically kill off all of the mold 
which usually generates right here and you'll be good to go. Take a little bit of RTV, get her filled in there so you get a nice mushroom underneath. Get her up on top, leave it dry out. You're all set to go. Once again, down in the description will be the product that you can use here if you have that. So once again, I hope you've learned something today and you take it easy and you have a good day.